This is a medial view of the brain. So you're looking at a brain that has been cut in half. The largest and most superior region is the cerebrum and hanging off the back is the cerebellum. You can see the remaining portions that aren't highlighted kind of look like a seahorse, like you're looking at a seahorse from the side. The head and face of the seahorse is the diencephalon. And the neck, body, and tail would be the brainstem. The diencephalon has two major subregions. There's the thalamus and the hypothalamus. The brainstem has three major subregions, which are the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. You can see that I didn't highlight this area in the center. That's because a lot of that is going to be white matter connecting the different regions to each other. And you can also see I didn't highlight this region down here. That's because that's actually the beginning of the spinal cord. You can tell that it's going to be the beginning of the spinal cord because the cerebellum hangs down about that far. So the cerebellum is going to be resting on the floor of the skull. So you can assume that anything below that is going to be the spinal cord.